Hey guys, it's Dev and I am back, 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 back again with Pink Yoga with another video that was not scheduled. <laughs> Here on Pink Yoga, we are great at giving you guys great content that is not planned in any way, shape, or form. No type of content schedule, low quality videos, fuck, and videos now being made with a backdrop that looks like a walking vagina. But that will all change soon. Well, at least some of it. In today's video, I thought that it would be kind of fun to do a bit of a get ready with me. Um, a lot of people ask me like my tips on skincare because I tend to have really good skin. So I'm going to walk you guys through my skincare routine today. And also, I have some really great news at the end of the video that will help you guys out. Um, so stay tuned and let's get started. Welcome to my face. It's Devin St. James. <laughs> So I'm coming to you guys on this video already showered, freshly shaved. So the first thing I do is I do a mask after my shower. So the first thing I use is, oh, is this, Jesus, this e.l.f. hydrating bubble mask. <laughs> I can't tell you the pricing from online because um, I bought mine at Marshalls. I got it for $5. And it comes in a really cute jar like this. Love it so much. It says this hydrating and nourishing gel transforms into a bubble mask on the face. Bubbles foam to remove excess dirt and cleanse pores for glowing, healthy looking skin. Which, you know, I mean. So it says to apply it on damp skin. So what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna take my Aloe Rose Water Facial Mist. Now, it's not just rose water in here. I personally did a mix of the Aloe Rose Water with Witch Hazel and a little bit of water so it's not so um, strong. And it's, it's a really good toner, so. Spray some on. <sighs> Get your skin nice and damp. Now, I'll take like a beauty blend, like a, a damp beauty blender or like a wet, or like a damp rag and just pounce it in to really get that witch hazel and whatnot in your skin so that's nice, you get that moisture, you know what I mean? And once that's good and set, you take your e.l.f. hydrating bubble mask and you press down on the top, so you, you take the little dollop and you start to apply. Now it's gonna start off clear but as it works, it's going to start to lather up on its own. See that? See that? Isn't that cool? Look at it. Look at it go. Look at it go. Look at it go. I love this stuff. Like, not even, like, rubbing it in myself. It'll start to foam up and whatnot. And that's what you want. So, you put on a nice thin layer across your face. And the bubbles will form like it is now. So, it's actively working. Now, it says that um, after about 5-10 minutes, um, it's going to like dissipate. So, you're going to want to massage it around with your fingers. And then wipe it off with a warm, wet rag. Which I do have down here. But, while we, while we wait for this to kind of work, uh, I'm going to work on my lips. Also, with the mask, what I will say is that because the bubbles are actively like foaming and popping and whatnot, it can tickle. <laughs> so if you have like a comb or something, I would definitely recommend like having it to kind of, you know, uh, scratch those itchy areas. Uh. That way it doesn't mess up the mask. Now, as far as lips go, I like to have really soft lips, and I know at times, especially at this time of year with it being winter, um, that can be kind of hard. So what I did was I made my own lip scrub. Um, it's literally just honey and sugar, um, and you just mix it together to make a really nice scrub. And you get some on your finger and just rub it on like some. Make sure it's fully coated. And massage your lips together. I really care about a lot about you guys for to come on this camera and look a damn fool. <laughs> but like I said, with the scrub on your lips, you want to get because sugar is like a natural exfoliant. So you want to like while it's um all on your lips, you want to. And the best part about this is that when you're done exfoliating. Mm, you can eat it, but unlike me, try not to get some of the mask in your mouth while you do this, so 
but honestly it's not a bad combination so so for me right now it's been about five ten minutes um the mask has actively worked so i like the direction said you want to kind of massage it around and like i said what i really love about this mask is that it doesn't feel all oily and greasy in fact i like that now it's a bit tacky so it has a good hold so what i like about it is that it kind of grabs on to like the moisturizers and whatnot that you're going to put on your face you know as you go on or if you wear makeup it'll hold on to your makeup better so there's that i have my nice clean wet rag here with a bleach stain on it and i'm gonna just wipe this mask off now once you've gotten all of that wiped off you want to go back in with your rose water spray um, this is going to be a crucial part of my routine. It'll be a crucial part of yours because this is going to add a lot of moisture to your face. So. And once that's soaked in, you're going to want to move now on to your, well, what I personally use is my Skin Therapy Rose Hip and Vitamin C Pore Cleanser. Again, I bought this at Marshalls <laughs> for four dollars. Y'all better stop sleeping on Marshalls. They got some good stuff, Annie. Get you a good old hand daddy cotton swab, cotton ball, what have you. Apply this on there. And I like to put this, or well, place this, I should say, all over. Head included. Because I'm bald, and by me being bald, I don't want to, ha like, it doesn't make sense to me to have one part of my face looking, like, one like one part looking good, and then this looks a mess. So, it's kind of like a duty of mine to keep everything looking uniform. Now, once that's taken care of, now, I use a bevel kit. So, um, I'll, in the bevel kit, you get a restoring balm, like it's an aftershave kind of thing. And so, I like to take this, get a little dollar in my hand, not a lot, because it spreads evenly. A little dime size amount. And I just rub it on my head. It has aloe in it, so it's really good for, you know, making sure that my head stays healthy. I don't have razor bumps. It keeps the skin tone even. And I look good, fun, and fresh. Now, since my lips are affected by the um, the sugar scrub, <laughs> now I'm gonna go in with uh, just a regular chapstick. I like to use Blistex; it's medicated, so mm. it's good for you. And at this point, I like to go back in again with my rose water and hydrate. <laughs> the next step, I like to be really old school, so I go in with my good old cocoa butter stick. I use the Africare 100% cocoa butter made with African cocoa butter. Um, really simple, relatively cheap. Um, I think about I think it runs for like three dollars. I warm it up on the back of my hand, and then, honey, I go the fuck in because you want to be good and moisturize uh, the whole way through child slathered all over my face and then again I get my head because I'm not gonna act like like with shaving that like you don't get like scars or accidentally like nick yourself for times or whatnot so having this cocoa butter really do good with helping heal those scars and imperfections also you don't want to forget your neck Again, it's about keeping everything uniform. So it's all applied, you just rub it in, honey. Make sure when you get to your face, you you wanna go out and pull up. Because who wants to, who wants to be young with a saggy face, okay? 
chat I don't now at this point as you can see you kind of have kind of like a really healthy dewy natural looking glow about yourself um, I like having dewy looking skin it just makes me look healthier um, who doesn't want to look healthy you know I want to be healthy chair yeah. and then again <laughs> Lock the moisture in. Now, if you witnessed on the last video that I did, I had a nice full beard. Now, I did cut it off um, recently. Actually, I cut it off about a few days ago, but you guys see his hair growing back. And that's because I used my good old Jamaican black castor oil. You can get this at any like really like beauty supply or whatever. I like to do just a few drops of this. But that's not all. On top of having my droplets in my hand, I like to add in some L'Oreal Extraordinary Clay uh, Rebalancing Conditioner and just add just a few droplets of it. And mix it together and just massage that into the areas that you grow here on your face. Keeps it conditioned, keeps it locked in. I like to add it to my eyebrows. Keep them nice and thick and gorge. And just a little on your finger, I like to put some on my lashes too. Just to keep them long. <laughs> Now, at this point, you've pretty much done all the moisturizing and whatnot. Now, there's a difference between looking dewy and looking sweaty. And right now, even though I'm not, I look a sweaty mess. So what I like to do, I like to take my beauty, beauty, beauty blender again and just go over some of those areas and kind of dull the effect. Cause again, you or pretty much like pounce the moisture back into your skin because you want to look dewy and healthy, but not like I said, sweaty and gross. So again, you're gonna have those high points in your face where the shine comes, but you don't want to look like you're just drenched in moisture. Even though, it, not the not it's not that type of channel. <laughs> Now, that's the majority of my skincare routine done. Um, there's one thing left, and actually it's a part of the good news that I have for you guys. So, let's get into it. So, if you have listened to the podcast on this channel, you would know that um, basically one of our sponsors is a company called Bath Savvy. Now, I love Bath Savvy a lot. They're a great company that does great work with skincare. Um, all their ingredients are very um, natural based and are really, really great for the skin. Now, my girl Shannon, hi Shannon. Um, she gave me a bag of a couple goodies from Bath Savvy. Um, one of them I get a lot. Um, I get all the time. Um, there's other two items in here that I did I did try, and um, I have my opinions. Now, before starting this review, I really want to put it out there that just because they sponsor our channel and our um, podcast and whatnot, that that in no way holds any bearing on the truth that I want to put out into the world. Um, I have purchased Bath Savvy products way before I even started podcasting. Um, I have a great relationship with one of the owners of the company. So for me, it's never been a thing where I'm going to get on here and lie and try to make it seem like their products are better. If anything, I want to give an honest review so that if they're going to work on their products, that they put something out better so that I can be happy, you guys can be happy, they can be happy, we all can be happy. So, with that being said, it's going to be a completely honest review. So, with that being said, let's get into the review. Now, the first product that I use all the time, that I buy from them all the time, is their Pomegranate Mango Oil Cream. Now, what I like about this is that... <sighs> It smells so good. <laughs> now, what I particularly love about this um, oil cream is that it gets a little bit, 
and I kid you not like oh it just smells so good it's hydrating and it leaves a nice sheen without being like greasy oily like it's it just works so good and it stays on like all day like it stays on all day day and I love that <laughs> I love it so much now the oil cream it does come in two different sizes I purchased the four ounce um, that retails for $14 on the website and the eight ounce um, retails for $22 so you get a really a good amount of product which for a really good price so go off as happy their next product that they gave me was the pomegranate mango sugar scrub now me I like to keep all my rest all my ingredients uh, the same when I use stuff so they're all pomegranate mango uh, for what I use now with the sugar scrub now that this always comes in the same size they all come in eight ounces now with the sugar scrub as well as the oil um, as well as the oil creams, they have an array of different um, flavors. <laughs> that's why I guess that's what I like to call them. So hey, now with the sugar scrub. Now I did use this when I went when I was in the shower. I gave it a couple tries. Now what I will say is that you have to put on just you have to use only like a little bit because a little bit goes a long way. The first time that I used this, it was really um, oily and greasy on my skin so when I use like a literally a dime size amount and just like used it it spread evenly um, it gave my skin is really beautiful healthy like glow and sheen to it I love it like when I started doing it that way I love this stuff so what I will say about this is it's a really great product it smells heavenly um, Ugh, it smells really good. I shall put some on for you guys. Just a little bit on my hand. You know, I mean, it's a it's a sugar scrub. So again, once you kind of get all that on, rub some of the sugar off. Um, yeah, it leaves like a really nice, like healthy sheen. Because of my light, it won't show it, but it's really, really healthy, really pretty, and I love it a lot. Now, the sugar scrub through the website, it retails for $16. You get eight ounces of it, which truthfully, this is gonna last you for so long, especially if you only get a little bit of it. If this will last you forever. For $16, come on, guys. Like, it's, like, come on. Now, the last product that I received from them is their um, eucalyptus, mint, and menthol shower bombs. Now, in the package, you get six small shower bombs. I'll show you here. Obviously, I used one of them in the shower. And guys, I kid you not, just opening this, is you get such a strong whiff of eucalyptus. I love it so much. I love it. Love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. Now, as you put it in, what you do is, um, I just took it, took one out, um, dropped it in the shower, uh, let the water hit it, and just the smell, like, it opens up, it, like, if you're congested, if you're congested, why I can't talk, I don't know, <laughs> but if you're congested, it helps open up your nasal passages and whatnot, it helps you breathe better, and it just gives us really good, calming, peaceful, just energy to your shower which i really really love you know now what i will say is that if you are sensitive to smells um i will say just like cutting it in half and using only a half of it in your shower um from people i've talked to that have used this i know that they did that and it worked for them so it's even a bigger bang for your buck speaking of the shower bomb eucalyptus mint and menthol retails for $14 on the website. I have a reference sheet. Leave me alone. So those are the three items that I received from Bass Savvy. And speaking of, um, when I gave you all the prices and whatnot, those are the original prices. But Bass Savvy was kind enough to give me an offer code, a discount code that I can give to you guys. So let's talk about it. So after working with them for so long and discussing this, we decided to come up with a discount code for you guys. So 
Uh, if you go online and make a purchase through BassSavvy.com, um, you will be able to use discount code PINKYOGA at checkout for 20% off. So, cheers for that. I don't have the cheer sound effect, but you can hear it. You, 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 you get the picture here. <laughs> yeah, so that is going to help you guys out a lot. Um, this is something that I take a lot of pride in, and I hope that you guys really use the discount code and enjoy it. Um, so, yeah, like, get in there and buy their stuff. They have a lot of great stuff. They have, like I said, oil creams, shower bombs, bath bombs. They have handmade soaps. They, hold on. Now, I didn't see if they sold it on the website, but I know at one point they were selling lip butters, and baby, I got one, and I love it so much. Mm. Like, y'all don't understand. When I say I love their products, like, I... Like, this is the new stuff, right? Ah! I tell you, I own their products. Like, look, I have a lavender oil cream. This one, an uh, old pomegranate one. The label is rubbed off. Like, come on. Like, I love their products. So, definitely head to Bath Savvy. Get you some amazing products. And guys, this is the end of my getting ready video. I now take you from this to this. <laughs> Not the best transformation, but girl, fuck you. <laughs> so with that being said, I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you check out Bass Girl. I cannot with this glare on my glasses. Like I was saying, I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to visit Bath Savvy's Instagram page at Bath Savvy. That's B-A-T-H-S-A-V-V-Y. Uh, for a split second, I forgot how to spell savvy. Don't mind me. <laughs> and you also want to make sure you check out their website at bathsavvy.com. That is bathsavvy.com. Club 96. And like I said, use our brand new discount code Pink Yoga for 20% off of your purchase online. Yeah. <laughs> And also don't forget to like, comment, subscribe to our channel, share our videos, our podcasts, and also hit that um, subscribe button. That way you get all, well, the alert button, the bell thingy. That way you get all the alerts whenever we upload, whenever that may be. You'll be the first ones to get um, our notifications for when we upload. Whether it be a podcast, a video, one of these days. I will have Nick in one of these videos. I don't know when, because that nigga work a lot, and so do I. But I will have him one of these videos one day. Trust my word. With that being said, thank you guys so much for watching, and with that, I'm out. Bye-bye. Peace out. Pink yoga.